Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about that strategy I was talking about. So I got my rewards in for uh, today after all the arenas. Um, now, I do have some uh, Alliance Quest stuff in here and uh, some other stuff, but I want to show you where exactly I was. So I had the Tendril Terror here. Uh, I came in 11 to 25% for that. Uh, Queen of Niflem. Flime. Flame. Flame. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> um, I went and I did a little bit of all the arenas. So I wanted to make sure that I did the two star and three star arenas. So I got the basic uh, two to three milestones there. Um, I got the summoner trials and I got the goddess of death. I got the one to 10%, which was the featured four star. I got the Mistress of Darkness, which was the uh, five-star featured Mistress of Darkness, and I got 11 to 30% there, so I got my 1,000 shards, and I also got the featured four-star here. I think it's better just to go this way, right? Yeah, it's better to go this way. Summoner Trials, I got a little bit of a prize there, nothing crazy. Uh, got me a Arena Crystal, nothing crazy there. And this is my 11 to 25% from the basic four-star, so I got the 200 shards there. And here is my summoner advancement, so that doesn't really count for this video. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and collect all of those things. I, As you can see, my unit gain is at 1350, which is really, really good so far. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of arena crystals here, just to see if we get any more unit gain, and I'll give you some insight in how I do that as well. So let's talk a little bit about the arena and what exactly I'm doing here. So. Based on my uh, roster, I have eight six stars right now, which has really kind of helped out a lot with what I'm doing in the featured five right here. Boom. So I use my six stars here. I build up a uh, streak of five and then I move into my six stars and I do like the next three matches there. So as you can see, I've got 587,000 just for this arena alone. So until I finish up featured four star, I'm just going to be using my six stars exclusively here, uh, which should be fine. I'll, uh, that'll probably take me to like win streak number 15 ish around there uh, until I'm ready to move into the uh, the 1000 shard range. And then from there, I move into the featured four. I use all my five stars here. And uh, as you can see, I've got 1.7 here. All I really need here is about 4.5, 4.6. So I'm going to use my five stars here for another two, another two rounds. Once I'm done here, I'm going to move all the five stars over to the featured five star, uh, which will then assist the six stars. And uh, that will get me to my score of about 6.8, 7.1.2, maybe even five if I want to get to that next milestone. Uh, and then from there, from there, I jump into the basic four star, which is over here. Uh, right now I have zero, but uh, I'm gonna get started on this one tonight. Uh, this will go up to about 1.65, not too much more than that 1.66 around there and that's going to get me my 11 to 25 percent um, but from here i'm only using my four stars and this is where the four stars are really important for me as well because i'm able to max them out and use them here for maximum points on top of using boosts and things like that so um i'm not in the camp of uh, four stars being useless i use them here i use them in map 6 aq I use them in variants, I use them in uh, the monthly quests, so I use four stars in quite a few places. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate for Act 6, but I'm using them here. This helps me get to my milestones very, very fast. My unit gain is very, very fast, and my battle chip gain is very, very fast here as well. So from here, basically, after that, I'm just kind of sharing my two and three stars between the summoner trials and the, uh, and the two to three star arenas. Um, and it works out fantastically. I have this kind of cut down to a science, but this is how I do it. So let's go ahead and open up a couple of these arena crystals. I'm going to open up, up uh, about 25,000 or so because uh, donations are due in a few days and I don't want to be too low um, before that happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, 1,350 units. This is my grind all the way up to today. So I don't want to really cut too much into my future grinds because that's going to be next week's video. Okay, so the question here is um, regular arena crystals or uncollected arena crystals. So the difference between them being if you have a lot of battle chips, I would say go uncollected. That gives you a chance to get a five star punisher and gives you a chance to get a high number of uh, units per set. 
The problem here is if you have a low amount of battle chips, which I do, I only have 50,000, uh, so I'm only going to open up maybe about 20,000 of these. That's only two uncollected, right? My chances to get units from two crystals is not that great, but my chances for getting uh, units out of multiple crystals here as you can see for 10,000 battle chips I'm getting five crystals on the regular one. Um, it's a smaller amount of units But I do get a chance to get units period um, Whereas with uncollected if you're only opening two crystals at 20,000 battle chips uh, You run a very high chance of getting nothing <laughs> So um, if you like opening opening them uh, periodically go for it uh, with the regular, but if you like to hoard them and open up like, uh, I don't know, 100,000 or a million at a time, go uncollected. So here I've got 10 of the regular Arena Crystals. I did 20,000 like I said I would so that I am safe for my uh, donations this week. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up 10. And I got 60 units, so I'm balling out in these units. You know, uh, 1,400 is a crazy amount. Now. Here's one very, very, very important thing that I'm going to do. Before I do anything with Cavalier Crystals or any Crystals or Featured Grandmaster or any of that stuff, I'm very low on energy and uh, I do not mess around. I stay stocked with energy because questing and all these things are the most important thing. So now I have 1100, uh, well, yeah, 1100 units. This is where my jump off point is for crystals. Um, I, even there, I want to make sure that I'm not spending too much because I want to make sure that I have revives and I have enough for, uh, you know, team revives, stuff like that. If I'm questing, you don't want to blow all of your units on crystals. That's just, uh, that's just a bad thing. So anyway, guys, that is my strategy. Uh, I got some extra units here as well. Uh, just wanted to let you know what the prizes were that I got for my efforts and the strategy that I use to farm moving forward. Um, if it does change, I'll make another video, but uh, guys, this is where I'm at. Hope you liked the video and I hope it helps you out. Uh, let me know if you do something similar uh, or what your strategy is uh, in terms of jumping around the different arenas. Uh, how do you split them up? Do you have as many six stars? Do you have less? Do you split it among your 565s and five star and then use maybe your rank fours in another place? You know, there's lots of different combinations to do that uh, so anyway if you liked the video and I hope that you did go ahead and click subscribe click like leave a comment share it with your friends share it with your mama all that stuff helps me out and remember stay dorky and I'll catch y'all on the flip learn a little something take a lesson learn it all